with a Hollywood historian who knows a lot about the lives and deaths of celebrities. So hopefully you can tell us more about the people that lived in this house and what their lives were like. Do you know if either Orson Welles or Sidney Toller passed away in the house? No, neither of them did. Uh, Welles died in another house on Hollywood Boulevard, and Toller died in another house in Beverly Hills. Okay. We know that Orson Welles moved up to this home to get away from the limelight, but, I mean, was there any other reasons that he knew about why he'd I mean, leave his current home and go all the way up there? Wells lived there while he was doing Citizen Kane. And Citizen Kane was a wild movie because it was based on the life of William Randolph Hearst. And William Randolph Hearst ran newspapers. When he got wind that Wells was making this movie based on him, uh, it got very ugly. And he did everything he could do to, to shoot the production down. He, he was bribing people. He was libeling uh, Wells. He was just making up horrible stories about Orson Wells and publishing them in his papers. And all the things that Hearst was doing to Orson Welles, it was while he lived in the house? Yes, when Welles was living in that house, he was going through a really difficult time professionally. So I can imagine the emotional turmoil while he was trying to get this film done was, was quite great. And it, and it was while he was in that house. Interesting. Amy found out that when Orson Welles did stay here for two years, this was a very stressful time in his life.